hello everyone welcome to another t-shirt design tutorial so in this video i am not going to show you a t-shirt design but i want to show you guys how to create a t-shirt mock-up using adobe illustrator so this video is about using making a t-shirt mock-up so for this one this t-shirt mock-up in illustrator you have to download some png or jpg images so these are some mock-ups from tspring you can search like tspring mock-ups you will find these images on google so i am not going to sell them as my property or my work so don't worry about copyright i am just going to use them to present my work to my clients if they are liking that then i will give them some else mock-up so this is just too easy this is just easy to work with okay so how to do that so first step is i am taking these two images now i am using two images here because on a white color shirt we can apply any color we want but on a black color shirt we cannot do that or on a white color shirt we cannot apply black color so that's why because this is not a photoshop mock-up so this will not be that much super realistic so this is how we have to work so first step is bring those images in your illustrator and then create an outline for them let me show you you can use your pen tool you can use your curvature tool i am using my curvature tool this time just make sure that you are not going outside of your main design area or main t-shirt area just stay inside this pixel area and then draw a shape like this now i have already done that part let me show you so this is my shape right here but you cannot see if i put a stroke color you will be able to see so let me show you so this is the stroke i draw you can see just the outline of my t-shirt nothing else this is not super accurate this is there are some mistakes in the drawing but don't worry about that this is just this will just work fine so after you, you do that you draw that stroke you have to make it a fill so this is no fill only a stroke if i press shift x it will switch so now only fill no stroke that is perfectly fine just select this fill layer and then press ctrl c to copy that is copied now you have to select this two this fill color and the image both of them and then right click make clipping mask it is going to make a mask for you just like this don't worry press ctrl f because we copied a layer the fill color that is now pasted on top of my clipping mask and here is my color layer for the t-shirt whatever color i will apply here that will be my t-shirt color like this you can see how good it is looking it is really looking cool okay so don't worry no this is not looking cool so all you have to do is this is the color layer you have to change the blending mode of it so go to this transparency here and then change it to multiply so you can see by using multiply filter you can easily make change the color you can pick any color of the t-shirt and that will look awesome that this will look super realistic like where if this is the original color of the shirt no distress no unrealistic effect this will look super accurate and this is how you can change your color of the t-shirt and then we will have to do the exact same thing for a black shirt you can see if i change it to black it is working but the details are missing here we cannot see any details so that is the reason we cannot change it to black and that's why i am using another shirt that is black so here also i draw that exact same shape for this shirt just press okay let's give it a fill color kind of this don't worry about this area you can always fix this maybe i made a mistake here okay don't worry about this this is not important you can see there are some area i left while drawing but that's not a problem so first step is select this one and copy and then select this two right click make clipping mask and then press ctrl f so by pressing ctrl f i am we are pasting that exact thing on that exact place where it was let's change the color here let's make it black but i want to see those details so let's make it screen so a screen or maybe overlay whichever works for you overlay is a bit dark soft light is not working hard light is not working so here maybe just keep the lightning light in our screen part that is the one because we are only using black here we will not be able to change any color to this shirt but we will be able to change colors on this one so that is why i made two version okay so this is how my design is looking right now inside the layer panel i have to understand one thing this is my 
this is the one clipping group this is another clipping group and then this is the clipping group for the white shirt this is the clipping group for the black shirt this is my color layer for the white shirt this is my color layer for the black shirt that will we will need that so let's bring some designs like say this is a design i made to show you let's copy that and then paste here so this is a regular design i want to use in my this video so i am just going to place it on a regular shirt like in this is the regular printing area kind of this thing so that is fine now if i change, select this one i can simply change the color or change the blending mode maybe screen okay screen is not for lighter color overlay so overlay looks good and also you can simply just decrease the opacity maybe 90 to 80 percent that will give it a realistic kind of look and then whatever color you will choose it will look exactly good but this is not looking good for the screen mode overlay mode let us change the blending mode from here sorry this should be screen is not working here multiply multiply is good just whenever you are changing the shirt color change the blending mode of the design or you can just keep it normal no problem just decrease the opacity to 80 percent it will look something like that and then of course you can bring that on a white shirt to something like this area then make it white so this is how you are going to make a complete unique design sorry unique mock-up in your illustrator and this is really easy to work with you can simply take a screenshot of this position send your client if they are liking this then you can give them a premium mock-up or a good mock-up to finally present your work but this is how how easily you can make this kind of mock-ups now here i want to show you guys one more thing that is let me say i want to change this color here i am really liking this red color this shirt so this is a element of my design sometimes let's group them and copy and then paste them here so sometimes we need to place design in some unwanted areas like we need to place a design in the slip area or a part of the design in the slip area something like this maybe maybe a bit bigger kind of this and then maybe sometime we need to place a design in this area so how to do that if we are working like this how can you do that so first step is place your designs like this select this one and then this one make them a group and then this is my group that is the selected group bring this here inside the clipping mask group so you can see just like this here inside the clipping mask group and that will cut or okay guys sorry for that let's do it in another way so this is right now just my group placed here so if i go to that clipping mask group of the red white shirt here you can see the red shirt so this is the outline of the shirt this is the image you can see that by layer wise so if i select this outline or that draw part i can simply copy that and then after copying that if i select this two shape here then and then press ctrl f so that shape is now pasted just in front of this part and you can see as we made a clipping mask with that that is automatically hiding the rest of my design that is already cutting the rest of my design let me let me show you guys so this is the background and this is how it is looking because that is blending with the white but don't worry this is the outline shape that we just pasted here and then here is our design if we select them right click make clipping mask so it, this is how you can easily blend with the design here and then of course i can simply change this one's color too but this one may be a bit it is looking a bit 90 percent is good then we can simply select that part 90 percent so you can see how realistic it can be this is really looking cool and the texture of the shirt it is looking very good to me and this technique use i use for some time to present my works so i hope this will help you guys and if there is any part that you didn't understand you can simply comment down and i can i will try to reply you guys maybe one part that you didn't understand that this clipping mask part so inside every group let's say this is the black part okay this is the white chart so this is the clipping mask group and here is the drawing that you first made 
this is just the outline that we created along the t-shirt main design if we copy that then we can apply that to anything like here is let me show you here is another part of the design or the design i am going to i want to place it in this this side slip just like this then i want to hide this extra part that is going outside of my design or my t-shirt so how to do that so as you copy this shape if we copy that and then if i select this shape here this design here press ctrl f that will paste this exact shape on top of my original design shape and then if i press shift and select this two simply right click make clipping mask you can see how easily we can place our designs there so this is how you can make it and if still there is anything you didn't understand you can comment i will try to answer your question guys so that's it for today's video i hope this will help you show your works or present it in a professional way so that's it for today's video see you in the next video guys have a great time thank you everyone